Yeah, that's that's quite a it's, it seems like a simple question, Martin, but it's actually a very broad question, and it comes to the crux of where we believe a lot of the problems are exist in the word agile at the moment. There's a lot of companies out there where agile has become a little bit of a swear word to them. Um, and that's simply because they're doing agile. We, we talk about the difference between being agile and doing agile. Okay. Doing agile is that you take a framework like Scrum or Safe or uh, Dad or Less, and uh, you might be surprised to hear this, but there's most probably around about 80 frameworks out there at the moment of, of various agile frameworks. And then the company follows this, that process religiously and then wonders why they're not getting the results that they should be getting from the program. We talk about being agile is much more it's about a mindset. It's, and and, and we, in, in the doing agile, we look at it as a capital A agile because it was came out of a, a set of meetings that happened in Boulder, Colorado in 2001. And it has become well known as a, as a manifesto. And we look at that as a capital A. But we look at Agile as a small A, which means you do not need to have a framework in place to be Agile. The coronavirus has forced every single business in the world right now to be Agile, in that we suddenly were forced into working from home. We were forced to looking at new ways to support clients. We're looking at new ways to get into different markets if our markets were severely impacted. That's agility. Agility is not a framework or a set of tools or a set of methodologies. Those framework tools and methodologies will help you get to be an agile organization. But agile is much more about mindset. And I just want to, in, in terms of your question, what is agile? I want to read a, 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 a definition that was put together by Evan Laybourne. Evan Laybourne is the head of the Business Agility Institute. And then Sally Alata. Sally Alata is a, is a business lady in, 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 in the USA who runs a company called Agility Health. And they define business agility the following, the ability to anticipate and adapt to change, learn and pivot, deliver at speed, and thrive in a competitive market. Because gone are the days when big eats small. Today, fast is eating slow. The ability to disrupt, learn, and deliver faster than competitors may be the only sustainable competitive advantage. So we see a lot of words coming out of there. It's about having the right products going to market. You need to understand who your customers are. Again, a lot of people see design thinking as separate to business agility. They are two different separate methodologies, but they need to work to, together in that the design thinking, you look at who are my customers? What are my customers wants, needs? What are the jobs to be done by my customers? And it may not even be your current customers. Who, who could be your new customers? Then you design products and services that meet those wants and needs. And then you need to deliver that because you're not going to be the only one that understands that's what the customers want to need. There's going to be competitors. So now the, the, the thing is, how do you get to market quicker than any of your competitors? In the, in the old days, what used to happen is we'd put together a project which we called waterfall project management. We get a whole lot of business requirements. We get a budget for it. That would take months just to get that process going. We then start on the project. We deliver it in 12 months time. And when you deliver the final product, the client says, but that's, it might've been what I told you I wanted, but the world has changed and that's no longer what I need or want anymore. Whereas Agile, literally almost every two weeks, you're doing sprints, which says, okay, what work are we going to do in the next two weeks? Once we've done that work, let's go show the client what, what it is that we've done so far. Every two weeks, every two weeks we, we do that. So that, that product evolves as per the needs of the market and the client are suddenly understanding, a much better understanding of maybe what it is that they wanted. So we're able to deliver value quicker. Uh, we're actually able to deliver real value we're giving clients products and services they want to need. Um, and we hopefully are beating our, our uh, competitors to being first to market with a product or service that our customers want to need. 